how sound can be utilized with body awareness and positive emotions to empower our life. There's a story I want to share with you today that I hope will help you very much. But this story is still information for you that's very useful for you to understand the potentiality you have to generate holistic wealth. But without action, this story wouldn't be enough to change your life. It is enough for having a conversation and sharing with friends and eventually having a philosophical discussion with somebody. But if you want to really make use of the information I'm going to share with you today, you need to really take action. So emotional intelligence, we know since the 80s when this famous book appeared on emotional intelligence, was striking the common, the, the mainstream thinking about what intelligence is. Since then, many years have passed, and finally, we all agree that emotional intelligence, empathy, it's certainly very important for our, de our development. Yet, there are only a handful of schools worldwide that can train people technically on the use of emotions and feelings for their own personal development. I remember many years ago when I was living in South America, I had the opportunity to contribute with the life of some leaders in the industry in mining, and some of them were in travels with uh, burnout uh, symptoms. So I managed to uh, empower one of them that was very close to the burnout and to help him release all the stress and go back to balance. I use the methods and techniques that still I use today to prevent burnout. Thanks to him, I was invited to communicate with human resources of the mining company and ask them if they would like to integrate a program for burnout prevention at the level of executives in the corporation. They were interested to listen to me when I asked them if they ever used any training on emotional intelligence. They told me that Certainly, they have, you know, invited somebody to do a presentation, two hours, four hours, discussing the book, but that was it. And I said, well, did you receive any training on how to work with emotions, how to use a specific emotion and feeling to solve any specific type of challenge in your time management, communication, creativity, in your own thinking? And they certainly explained, explained to me that they didn't. They didn't get... To precisely why I was asking those questions. For them, a training means cognitive information accumulation. Well, in my case, I was, at those years, already certain around the beginning of the year 2000 that we needed a complete new approach for learning and education to unleash our potential. And I've been spending already many years teaching a new approach for learning. Since the year 1993, I've been doing that with a multidisciplinary space dedicated to leadership and entrepreneurship. Since the year 1997, I've been working with youth, also empowering them. And this brings me to the center of the story today, how emotional intelligence was helping my teams achieve a better outcome. civilizations, tribes, give great attention to singing. Through singing, using tones, music, and our voice, we connect to a very deep emotional feeling and even a vibrational sensation experience in our body. 
This is not only important for religion, belief, or self-knowledge. This is also important for our daily life. It's important for our communication, our relationships. It's important for the way we work and we think because it connects us to something very profound in ourselves. The use of sound is tremendously important. And even more important to use sound connected to our emotions, to our feelings. And there is no better way to, to use singing to do that. And I know when I'm saying singing, I'm not suggesting you to sing in every place around, but actually you can create a personal space to connect to your voice, to your sound, and explore through sound your whole being. There are certainly many techniques I could share with you how to do this, and I do those experiences using the headband, body movements, and sound in special workshops I provide. But the purpose of this story is basically for you to understand that to experience emotions in a different way, you need to learn more about your human nature and how you are being built and how the use of sound, frequency and geometry combined with body awareness can really power up your skills and help you bring your knowledge into the world in a completely new way. This is very important and um, for, for some years now I have been teaching all my students on how to use all of these methods and techniques and uh, I am aware that the process may not be so fast. You need to invest time, put some commitment and dedication because there is so much to repattern. We have been learning to study mostly cognitive. That's the first thing to learn, how to learn with using the whole body. Uh, we have been learning mostly to use books and now you have to get experiences and extract from those experience a metaphor, insights, knowledge, the ability to use your whole being to get an outcome. We have been used to getting jobs and being independent. And actually with this kind of training, you strengthen your ability to be creative, have autonomy, and bring something of contribution with your creativity into the world. So there are changes and transitions we need to go through. And this is only possible if you commit. Now, the story today is about how sound and emotional intelligence can be of a great contribution to your life. probably not 15 but 17 years old at the time and it was challenging because I was used to follow a leader and assist the leader in his decisions when I was uh, increasing my rank into the Boy Scouts but then later I had to take over and this was a powerful moment for me because there were not only five uh, team members and we had 14 and they were coming in the regular times and sometimes they were all of them together and everybody was identified to the team the team of wolves that was the name and for me it was a big question first how to empower them so that they can use their own unique qualities to contribute to the games that we used to play and also how to create a team spirit and how to bring them together without competition, focusing more on personal growth and focusing in collaboration. For that, we need something that brings us together. 
and uh, in a certain moment I understood how important it was the uh, purpose, the, the function it plays to sing in a group together and realizing today that at that time I was already applying something that I have been studying my whole life how important it is for a community, for a team, for a company to sing and dance together, to have this ritualistic, this team experience, this connection of harmony, of precision, that only through this expression, collective expression of sound, emotion, body movement can be achieved. This is a, a, a wonderful experience that I wish every company will try out. Um, but I know it isn't easy because then it means that you will need to be exposed. Maybe you don't sing, maybe you don't work with the body, maybe you don't feel, you don't connect. And I know from experience also that to facilitate such a, ex, such a process within a company, within leaders, is very challenging because most of the time leaders doesn't want to show their vulnerabilities and employees do not want to show the vulnerabilities and it's a very complex space corporate unemployment but if you have a startup and you are initiating a new company and you have a group of people that is open to grow and to explore the vulnerabilities and to connect to each other because they understand this is what they need to do to be a strong team then you have the opportunity to implement the techniques I don't think that it is only for teams, but for, for example, for communities living together. Um, in ancient times, tribes will always have certain moments in the year in which they will celebrate through dances, through singing, and that was bringing the community together, those celebrations. Today, we have not we have forgotten. We don't do that anymore. For us, today is culture and shows and leisure, so we watch how a group of people does the dance, and we do not participate in the dance. We listen to the musicians, and we don't sing together. We see theater performance and we don't play the roles anymore. We are just observing, watching how the world moves as in the same way we will watch television or a movie or read a book, feeling that the, the role, the stage of the audience is the, the one that we always will have. But life is inviting us to act, to take part of the story because the story is your life you are the story so if you don't take action then life decides for you and certainly there are spaces in which taking action is more comfortable and life circumstances may force you to take action in a way that you don't expect we experienced that already in the time of COVID-19 and today acceleration uncertainty transitions uh, the uh, search of peace and the, the conflict between beliefs and cultures and skin colors, diversity and discrimination. There are so many edges in our society. Still today our civilization is not advanced enough for us to feel that everything moves smoothly all the time. But we can create a space at home for ourselves, for our small family, for our team, for a community, a neighborhood, so that we can empower ourselves with those rhythms of nature, with those sounds of life, with the emotions that gives a positive impulse to our life. I'm talking a positive impulse because it's a choice to use emotions, feelings, our body and thoughts to create a positive, purposeful, peaceful impulse to our lives to the civilization, to other communities. And it is through dances that we learn the feelings, the emotions of different traditions, cultures, and beliefs, and to understand how we are all connected in the same human nature. So I believe this is a great lesson, and I learned it when I was a youngster, a teenager, and I will apply the same principles for years and even research more and more in ancient cultural and civilizations how did they use sound, body, geometry, self-expression, emotions? I'm grateful for that journey. And I wish more people will start a journey in their lives very soon.
feelings, you can reach out. There is a challenge I can give you online for you to explore with a workbook, and I'm happy to share with you as usual one coaching session free for you to initiate your journey. But if you want to go beyond that and explore with a collective of people, I'm opening this year and the next year a group for self-knowledge dedicated to explore through dances, through sound, through vibration, through body awareness, their own full potentiality. And I'm certain that this training will be ideal for everybody that wants to increase their knowledge, personal growth, people that want to connect and unleash their own personal wealth, their holistic wealth, people that want to empower themselves with a positive impulse, a positive mindset of creativity. In general, for couples and families that want to connect better with each other, enhance the quality time, and improve the way they use emotions for daily life so that they can improve the time management, the communication, the creativity, the thinking, the collaboration, the inspiration. There are so many benefits that come out of this training, but it is necessary for you to commit, to commit to come to a program for a number of days along the year, to come to a training. And obviously, for those that complete the program, I will be happy to train them in the methodology so that they can become also coach trainers for the same type of knowledge. The system I'm using is ancient. It belongs to a geometrical structure that describes the body precisely using Fibonacci. And uh, this system of natural proportions, it's also synchronized or correlated to sounds and frequencies that are very good to wrap up in the brain and experience different type of emotions, feelings, qualities that can help us unleash our full potential. Um, I have been teaching this for so many years now, and I think there is no more powerful experience than dances, singing, working with the body, with self-expression, to access to the deepest knowledge possible. And this knowledge in particular, I believe, being knowledge of nature, inspired by nature, and found in ancient cultures and civilizations, the major ancient cultures and civilizations of antiquity and recent in the last you know, thousands of years, that is a knowledge that is fundamental for all humanity, for all civilizations we have experienced. And therefore, I think this knowledge could be a good foundation for peace. So if you are interested to join, if you're interested to explore your qualities, your skills, to increase your knowledge, to develop yourself, investing online time with a group, with a community of dancers, or coming and visit me in the location I'm living, or organizing with me events at your location, you're welcome to do so. So please reach out, and as I said, you are welcome to contact me, schedule at one online coaching session, I will give you a workbook and some guidance for you to start your journey, free of charge, and you can also consider to join our longer program of three months, nine months, or two years. Well, looking forward to hear from you, and I hope the story inspires you to pay attention to emotions because emotional intelligence can change everything. The way we learn, the way we, we make decisions for wealth, the way we educate ourselves, how to connect with the community, how to generate data and analyze data, how do we perceive events, how we collaborate with each other, make decisions in our life, keep our life in balance, how we design systems. If we integrate a proper use of emotions and really enhance our approach to life through emotions, positive emotions and feelings, then the whole civilization of the planet could change. Because human connection, the connection of the heart, the connection of the earth, the connection of knowledge, of feelings, of emotions, of life, is communicated through feeling and emotion and body movement. So we celebrate life and we do step forwards to advance our civilization together. Mm -hmm.